The Summit City's biggest celebration is officially happening. The 48th annual Three Rivers Festival started yesterday, but many kick off this event with a morning parade in downtown Fort Wayne. News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us live from the parade route. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Sarah. I'm standing along Calhoun Street in downtown near Columbia Street. This is kind of the home stretch of the big parade, the annual parade, if you'll say that. People are already gathered here. In fact, some of these people were grabbing their spots here last night. The parade, of course, fe features those balloons, floats, and bands. Keep an eye out for the Wayne TV news team. We'll be walking along a float that celebrates our veterans and that puts a spotlight on Honor Flight of Northeast Indiana. This year's parade theme celebrates Indiana's bicentennial. The parade rolls off about 945 at the intersection of Wayne and Rock Hill. That's over in the West Central neighborhood. This year's route will take Wayne to Fairfield, head north on Fairfield, east on Barry, and make that final turn north on Calhoun. The parade comes to an end at Superior and will last about two hours if you're sitting at your seat watching the whole show. The parade tends to be the unofficial kickoff to the festival. There's much more to do today. Artists have already started working on their artwork over at the Chalk Walk on Main Street. That's a pretty cool thing to see, one of my favorites. The new Emporium with shops will open at 11 o'clock. That's at Headwaters Park West. Also at 11, the Midway and Junk Food Alley will open up, as will Art in the Park. That's over at Fryman Square. Concerts will continue throughout the week. Tonight's big show features Better Than Ezra, Sister Hazel, and Cracker. Doors open at the Festival Plaza at 5.30. The music starts at 7. I can tell you, growing up here, this has been kind of an annual tradition for my family to come watch the parade. I'm pretty pumped to join the News Channel 15 family this year and walk along the parade route. Make sure if you see us to say hey and snap some pictures. Stick with the show. Throughout the next two hours, I'm going to be going to different spots along the parade route and talking to some people along the way. For now, reporting live in downtown Fort Wayne this morning, Chris Darby. News Channel 15. Coverage you can count on continues with Sarah Schaefer. The Three Rivers Festival will start moving in just two hours. News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us live from downtown Fort Wayne. Where are you on the route right now, Chris? Hey, good morning, Sarah. I'm a little bit farther south on Calhoun Street. Let's get kind of the home stretch of the big parade, which will be kicking off here in a couple of hours. Joining me now is Jack Hammer, Festival Executive Director. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much, and good morning to you. It's a, it's a big, exciting morning. What does this day entail for you? Well, I tell you what, for me personally and a lot of uh, staff members and volunteers, it means a very early day, but it also means that big celebration that what we look as the official kickoff of the Three Rivers Festival, uh, the Lutheran Health Network Parade. And I look so forward to seeing people with their families lined on the street waving, and that just speaks of community. Growing up here, this is always an exciting thing to look forward to. You see friends and family both along the parade route and in the parade. Talk about what this parade means to not just the festival, but the community. Well, it's a good chance to bring things together. You know, in the past, especially here in America, we'd have parades when like a circus came to town. So they parade through town and say, something really big is coming. Well, that's what the Three Rivers Festival Parade does. It says something big is coming. And that's this celebration that we've had for 48 years. And we invite people down because it's only when we come down to watch parades or get together downtown for a show or whatever it is that community happens. And that's the most important part that the Three Rivers Festival has worked real hard on for 48 years. 48 years of all kinds of, not just the parade, all kinds of events. The chalk walk is going, the food alley and everything else opens up here today at 11. Talk about what you're looking forward to this week ahead. I tell you what, I, you know, I'm a music guy. I'm looking very forward tonight in the Hanning and Bean Plaza to see uh, Better Than Ezra, Cracker, and Sister Hazel. It's a great show. It's only, uh, it's a day of, so they're $25 tickets, very reasonable tickets. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to going back over to the boat rides today and seeing the people on the pontoons at the SCI River Excursions and seeing how happy they are and how they believe more in our city and the rivers when they get off those pontoons because they start to see the possibilities. So much fun, so much excitement, so much to look forward to this week. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you very much. Good luck today in the week ahead. Thank you. Hey, we'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to head down towards the staging area further down in West Central and catch up with some of the News Channel 15 team. Until then, reporting live in downtown Fort Wayne, Chris Darby, News Channel 15. We are an hour away from the start of Three Rivers Festival Parade. The Wayne TV team will be in the parade and honoring some special people along the way. News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us live one more time from downtown. Where are you now, Chris? Here we go. Hey, good morning, Sarah. We've made our way to the staging area of the parade. New Shell 15 will be walking in the parade with some very special guests. 
a group from Honor Flight veterans and some of the Honor Flight workers. We've got Dennis and Eileen here, right? right? Dennis works with Honor Flight. Eileen's a veteran. What's your guys' story? How, you're, what do you do with Honor Flight? Well, I'm currently the president of Honor Flight Northeast Indiana, and I've been involved with this program for probably going on six years now. And uh, Eileen here was a World War II Navy or Army veteran, served in Germany. And uh, she went on an honor flight two years ago, and I had the privilege and honor of escorting Eileen to lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. And that's something that not very many people get to do. What but experience? What, what was honor flight like? It was the most humbling, humbling uh, episode that I've ever experienced, really. The honor flight is great, and I just, I hope it can continue. But Dennis was, Dennis is a, a, a good president, you know. Today we're going to go along this parade route and so many people are going to be saluting you and your fellow veterans up here. What is that like for you? Humbling, humbling. And, and it's, you know, when we came back, we did not have the big band and the, uh, the big performance. You know, we, we came back and, and got on with our life. And now we're experiencing all these special things, which is great. Well, Eileen's part of the greatest generation. She is one of those people that saved our country in World War II. It's great to give back to them, right? Yes, it is. Well, thanks for being here this morning. Enjoy the day. Let me personally say thank you for your service as well. And thank you.